we'll uh, we'll get started. And don't forget, like we play some Magic Arena on this channel. We play some Moto on this channel. Um, this is in a card shop. We're opening this product for the card store, uh, which is Level Up, based here in Knoxville. Uh, let's get started because uh, I'm opening the store a little bit late today. So if you're watching and you're wondering why uh, the store isn't open, it's because I'm in here. Don't tell anybody. Don't get me in trouble. Don't tell on me. There you go. All right, let's get started. Uh, let's get these uncommons out of the way here. Get some of these out of the way. And let's see what we get. Gruesome Menagerie. Ooh, and a foil cackling drake. That's actually really pretty. I like that. All righty. And uh, everyone, thank you so much for the follows. I'll have to do a shout out uh, here in a bit. If Billy is watching and can send me the list, I will read off the thank yous for, for all the follows. I really do, really do appreciate it. I feel terrible that I'm away from the computer screen and I can't see uh, when people follow. Ooh, Venerated Loxodon. All right, look at that guy. Foil. I I'll take him in foil. He looks way better in foil. And a nib mizzet paper. That's pretty good. Here in the final box. The final countdown. Ba -na -na -na. Golgari Raiders, Hellkite Whelp, a Discovery Dispersal, and a Bounty Mine. I don't like this card. Does anybody like this card? Somebody argue for that card. Somebody tell me that card's good. I want it to be good. But who wants triple gr tribal? Uh, uh, who wants triple giant growth for six? Who wants that? Who even wants that? We didn't ask for this. Gogari, Gogari Raiders, Gatekeeper, Gargoyle, Street Riot, and a Camaraderie. I'm telling you, if they put Convoke on Camaraderie and they did the plus one plus one as plus one counters, that card would be super playable. But they didn't. They did not. Glaive the Guild Pact, Beacon Bolt, Status Statue, and a Sacred Foundry. Love it. Yeah. And guys, uh, um, we, uh, we get another set of pre-release kits in uh, this Friday. So as customers open them, if they don't need the code cards, I'll try to pick those off of, uh, up from them. And uh, I'll try to pass them out here on this stream. Pretty much lethal on a dude with trample seems good indeed oh, all right okay that's fair that's fair if you put it on a guy with trample yeah and the nine damage is is close to lethal i'd agree with that okay that's a good argument uh night veil predator rampaging monument swath cutter giant thousand eyed but what if they kill your guy what if they blow him up that's the removal fallacy right you could say every card in this format is bad <coughs> rask is bad because she dies to assassin's trophy but that is a fallacy because uh, everything dies for removal. That's why removal exists. Hey, Overgrown Tomb. I have not seen, out of this whole case, I have not seen very many Overgrown Tombs. I just haven't. Whew. We bought a collection the other day. Um... Got to make sure that we're going to sort that today. All right. And I got I got a message from my accountant. He was just sending me a meme, but I was worried for a second. So apologies for the delayed speech there. Is it an instant? Oh, but isn't it an instant? Yeah, it's an instant. Um, it's, yeah. You can do it. You can do it like when they're tapped out. Absolutely. Okay. You're right. You're right. I can see. I can see. Uh, Integrity Intervention, Undercity Necrolist, Grappling Sundew, and Ral is it Vice Roy number two. So this is our final box. We pulled two Vraskas and two Rals. So that seems pretty good. I like Vraska a lot better than Ral. I don't think Ral's very good at five mana. Um, I do not like Planeswalkers that are dependent on things already happening on the board. I don't think that's very good. So, there you have it. Also, apologies if you can hear some like music in the background. We're actually next to a CrossFit, which is a weird place for a game store to be. 
but uh, they like to play their music really loud, and it uh, kind of oozes through our walls. There's here's Erratic Cyclops number two. I've only seen two of these guys, but I'm okay with that because I don't like that card. Do not like. All right, we're getting in there. Let's see what our foils are. Whispering Snitch, pretty good. Unmoored Ego and a Foil Deadly Visit. Foil Deadly Visit doesn't do anything, but it's pretty. It's good and limited. Let's be positive here. <laughs> Unmoored Ego is going to be pretty good. I don't know about letting my opponent draw cards, though. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. All right. Boros Challenger. Nightvale Sprite, Legion Guild Mage, and a Mission Briefing. And again, if you guys are just tuning in, we're actually in box number six here. I just haven't changed uh, uh, the uh, title of the, the stream. So we're actually on box number six of the case. Uh, we've opened a lot of fetches. About uh, three to four per box is what we've been running into. But we've gotten some foil fetches as well. Ha! <laughs> Speak of the devil! Foil overgrown tomb and a deafening claim. But look, a foil overgrown tomb! Holy cow, that is that is really good. We are seeing a lot of foil. Like more foil shocks than than anything. Good grief. I'm super okay with that. That is excellent. Runaway Steamkin. Alright, say it with me guys. Is your Steamkin running? Better go catch it! That's the joke, guys. That's I think that's the joke which is the ghost is looking for. Alright. Got some commons there. Goblin Banner has an excellent uncommon and ritual of soot. Super big fan of this card. I think it's a good board wipe. I think it's balanced for black and standard. Um, I'm glad that it costs four mana. Very glad that it costs four mana. Cause what's the um there's that one from Rise of the Eldrazi that costs five that's pretty good, but I don't know. I like Ritual of Set. Call Harpooner, great card. Just a strike, great. Quasi Duplicate. I like this card. It's not fantastic. It's fun to build around. And uh, Vraska Emblem. Maybe we'll get another Vraska. That'd be cool. I'm like super pumped about the, uh, the, foil, the foil shock, so we've gotten a, a sizable number of those. So I'll, I'll separate all, all the shocks and the planeswalkers um, at the end of this video as well. So we'll do a we'll do a quick review of all the rares we pulled. Welcome to Host Town, name uh, population guild mages for him, um, and we'll like review all the rares and stuff like that. And uh, that will conclude this video. If you missed any of these, they are segmented here on our Twitch channel. They're also going to be segmented on YouTube as well. Beam Slayer Mage, Hellkite Well. Well, uh, Dimir Spybug and a Watery Grave. Heck yeah. All right. I feel really good about these boxes. I have not been displeased with these boxes. I feel like all the rares are very playable, um, or the majority of them are. So if you're buying at least, you know, a few packs or more than, more than a few, chances are you're going to get something that you can play or something that's valuable. That's in the wrong slot. Um, love Sinister Sabotage. Great card. Hey, Doom Whisperer number two. Been, not been seeing a lot of this card. This card's very good. Doom Whisperer. I think he's going to see a significant amount of play. I hope he's not too expensive, though. When cards are really, really expensive, it's just like it makes the game cost prohibitive, and that's not fun. Don't forget, you can type in Play Ravnica on MTG Arena. That's the only code they've given us so far. Uh, hopefully they will give us more codes soon, which is the coast, but I don't know. Um... And if I get any more of the arena codes for free pre-release kits, whoop, I will try to pass them out on this stream. So stay tuned. Don't forget to hit us that follow. Don't forget to hit that follow button. Um, and if, if we do decide that we're going to, wow, my camera's on last time. Uh, if we do decide that we're going to like pass out some extra codes or whatever, we'll like announce it on the, in the stream title or whatever so you know. Um, True Fire Captain, Lava the Giant, Legion Guild Mage, Pelt Collector. Anyway. 
And again, if you've already followed, thank you so much. I super appreciate it. I'm far away from the computer. I cannot see if you have followed. So I'm just going to assume that you have. And I thank you and I love you. Uh, can I concoct? Great reanimator card. Doom Whisperer, though. Doom Whisperer and the Foil Shock. Man, man, Foil Overgrown Tomb. We got a Foil Watery Grave. I think we got a Foil um, Sacred Foundry as well. Ooh, this is our first Tristani Discordant. I don't know how I feel about this. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. When there's a battlefield, you make two soldier tokens. At the beginning of your end step, each player gains control of all creatures they own. Um, I feel like uh, people are really going to love that in Commander. Really going to love it. Arboretum Elemental, Lead Up Champion, Book Devourer, and Hatchery Spider. Yep. Hatchery Spider, there's... So, um, what I'm seeing here is there's a... There's like a mono-colored bomb in every color that's just kind of not good, but good for draft. I think that's what I've been seeing so far. Uh, put these away over here in this box. Please don't fall over box. Joint Shields, Crowl, Crowl Swarm, Enhanced Surveillance, and a Beast Whisperer. Whew. All right, we're getting down to the last few packs here, guys. Yoink. And this is box number six. So at the end of this, we will review all the rares we got from one case. See how we did. And then I'm going to go open the store and hopefully not get bad Google reviews because we're opening a little bit late today. Legion War Boss. Good card. Foil Boros Locket. Killed Gate. Got my token. All right, we're down to the last nine packs. Let's get them open. If I can, if I can ha manage it, geez, good grief. House Guild Mage, Necrotic Wound, Fine Broker, and this was the, uh, <coughs> this is the, the mono white limited bomb. It's good and limited. I don't know how good it's going to be in uh, constructed. I guess the green one is. Uh, that triple giant growth that I that I'd like to poop on. <laughs> it's it's a good card. Hey, Tajik! I like Tajik. He's good. Silent Dart and hey, Assassin's Trophy. This card is too high right now. If you're buying Assassin's Trophy right now, you might not want to. You should trade for it, but you shouldn't buy it. Um, I think by release, the price will have stabilized a little bit, but right now it's it's ordering a little bit high. I think once everybody starts opening the product, the price is going to stabilize over the weekend. But I do think that Assassin's Trophy is a little bit expensive right now. All right, Chamber Sentry, terrible card. Don't like it. It's not as good as Walking Ballista. It's, it's no Walking Ballista. If you're no Walking Ballista, or even if you are... Don't forget to hit that follow button. We open product on stream. We stream ourselves, the guys that work here at the shop. We stream ourselves playing Magic. Ooh, Vraska! What a good box! Okay. Did we get a Vraska and a Rouse Eric in this box? We did! Look at that! And a Foil Shock? This box was gangbusters! Holy cow! That's good stuff. This is a good box. I think this is the best box. The last box in the, the case was the best box. Omni Spell Adapt. If you think this card is good, I disagree. You're paying eight mana to pay a play a spell for free? Why don't you just play the spell? All right, we're getting to our last few packs here. Dawn of Hope. Two packs left. Two packs enter. Only one will leave. That's not actually how this works. That's not how any of this works. Nightvale Predator, Undercity Guy, um, Crush Contraband, and a Swift Blade Vindicator. 
Ooh, and a foil bar of skilled gate. Zoop. All right. This is the last pack, ladies and gentlemen. The last pack of the booster case opening extravaganza. Close for shaman. And it's a citywide bust. Hey, this is me getting in trouble for not opening the store on time. Look, it's a picture of me. I'm a big giant. I'm actually quite tall. <laughs> All right, let's review these rares. Citywide bust, Swift Blade Vindicator, Donna Hope, Vraska, Chamber Sentry, Assassin's Trophy, Tajik, Light of the Light, Lights of the Legion, Legion War Boss, Knight of the Autumn, Knight of Autumn, Beast Whisperer, Hatchery Spider, Tristan Discordant, Kanai Concoct, Pelt Collector, Fire Minds Research, Doom Whisperer, great card, only saw three of these out of the whole case. Watery Grave, Guild Mages Forum, aka Hose Town, Quasi Duplicate, Ritual Soot, Runaway Steamkin, Foil Overgrown Tomb, Deafening Clarion, Mission Briefing, Unmoored Ego, uh, Erratic Cyclops, Ral, Ral Is It Viceroy, Amara, another Overgrown Tomb, uh, I Am a Thousand Eyes, Sacred Foundry, Camaraderie, Bounty of Might, Nib Mizzet, Foil Venerated Loxon, and a Gruesome Menagerie. So, out of this box, how many shocks did we get? Including the foil. We got a watery grave, we got a foil overgrown tomb, we got an overgrown tomb and a sacred foundry. So overall, pretty good stuff. If that's what you're waiting for. And to wrap this video up, we are going to take a look at all the rares we open in the whole case. So let's do that. I will pull out the shocks as I run across them. And the other kind of like high dollar cards, like mission briefing isn't super high dollar, but it's good. Um, let's actually, let's just do shocks and, shocks and planeswalkers. This is what we got time for. Shocks and walkers. Mm -mm -mm. And this is, keep in mind, this is out of one completely sealed booster case of Guilds of Ravnica. We're opening this for the store. We're not allowed to sell it today. We're allowed to sell it when it goes live on Friday. Um... And that is what we're going to do. We're going to organize it in our case and put like the rares that aren't super valuable in a binder for players to look through. And that is just kind of how we operate here at Level Up. I am super pleased, by the way, with how many foil shocks were in these boxes. Like, there are so many. Oh, man, Doom Whisperer. Doom Whisperer. That box was so good. It had Assassin's Trophy, Doom Whisperer, foil shocks two planeswalkers one of each kind like that box that was the box like if that's how if that's how the boxes are coming off the roller sheet we got one under realm lich out of this entire case we got one under realm lich keep that in mind too guys we got all this other crazy stuff we got one under realm lich one did i mention that we only got one under realm lich did i mention that I don't feel like I mentioned that. I also feel like I didn't quite go through these well enough. Let's take let's take a look at let's take a look at the shocks. This is what we care about. The shocks. Ooh, that's foil. Woo! All right. Out of that case, we got three foil shock lands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 shock lands out of that case, as well as planeswalkers. We got Vraska's, we got Assassin's Trophies, we got Doom Whisperers, there's some, we got one Under Realm Lich. <laughs> so um, you can take a look at this chaos in here. It is absolute just insanity. Uh, if you stuck with us for the whole video, thanks so much. Um, we're going to be doing stuff like this more. We're going to be playing Magic. We're going to be doing some deck building. I'm going to try to build a reanimator deck. Uh, so don't forget to click that follow button. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to follow us on Twitch and Twitter. Thanks, everybody, so much for watching. And I have to go open the store. So have a wonderful day.